Gymshark changed the Adapt Ombre, and we are here to talk about it. We got some major tea to spill in today's video. So the news is out. Gymshark's new Adapt Ombre is, in fact, different. Very different from the previous launch. So in today's video, I wanted to take a deep dive into this new release and compare it to the previous Ombre. There's not only a difference in the aesthetic but the material and fit as well. I've already worn the new ombre to the gym and I got a lot to say about it. So welcome on back to the channel, you guys. Before we go any further, please do not forget to hit that subscribe button and give this video a like if you do find it helpful. And don't forget to stick to the end because hello, I don't know if you know this. That's right, we got our very last and biggest Sharkmas giveaway at the end of this freaking video. This will be our last Sharkmas giveaway here on YouTube and it's the grand finale to say the least. So when I first showcased this new Adapt on socials, the biggest response was that it looked like the Adapt Fleck and the Adapt Ombre had a baby. So with that being said, I'm gonna call it the Flambre. In this new drop, we are looking at their signature pieces, which are their biker shorts, their leggings, their sports bra, and their long sleeve crop top. We do have a mix up in different colors this time. We actually have what I'm wearing right now is this beautiful red with a pink tone in it. It's like this vibrant pink. It's different than the older last release red. If you look up close, this has a little more of that vibrant pink look to it, a pinky red. This is more of a red red. You're also looking at a black slash gray ombre, a pinkish purple ombre, which is stunning. I call that cotton candy skies, and a really flattering pretty green color. So far, I know that this collection will be launching for the US the day after Christmas. So December 26th at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time is when it will be dropping in the US. I'm not sure about any other countries just yet, but the second I do find out, of course, if you're not already, follow me on Instagram so you can check out my stories where I do all my announcements there. So let's go ahead and get into this review. We're gonna be starting with the overall aesthetic difference and then move on to sizing. Gonna be using this legging in comparison. This is the older previous launch ombre in red to the new drop. If you remember, the previous launch was a dip dyed ombre. So dipped on down, it created that ombre effect. Every single legging was slightly different from each other. It wasn't a standard print. The biggest critique of the ombre from what I recall from you guys was the fact that you didn't really care for the dip dye because it could appear streaky. If you look up close, you'll see that the new ombre is knitted. This means that you will find each legging more consistent. There's no streaky appearance. It's just really beautiful in my opinion. I got a lot of you gals saying from far away, you thought it was sparkles. And I can see that because it looks a little bit like a pointillized painting. Little tiny dots that make up the ombre. Very, very gorgeous. I actually really love the way they knitted it. I think it looks perfect. The previous ombre had more of a moral fade where this one has no moral whatsoever. I feel like the new ombre has more of a gentle fade, not so much of a heavy contrast, it looks a little more natural to me. So I think in that area, Gymshark definitely did improve with the overall aesthetic. With this new knitted look, we actually have a bit more of a contour on this legging. So whereas if you look at the older ombre, it really is just a gradual ombre fade, whereas the new knit has more of an outline around the glutes, the under booty area. You can see a really clear contour on the long sleeves. It's also worth noting the fact that Gymshark replaced the text logo with a printed shark face. If you guys are curious about overall length, it's still the same. You still have the same waistband and the overall length of the legging. Everything is pretty much the same, so no difference there. But the biggest difference of them all is no doubt the fitting. Completely different. When I wore it to the gym, I was shook. So let's go ahead and talk about this fitting of the legging. If you're familiar with the previous Adapt Ombre, you would know it's like any other piece in the Adapt collection, which is my favorite collection, super flattering. I felt like this collection really just emphasized the glutes, but still gave you that really high compression that sometimes you just need. Well, different story with the new leggings. So when I put them on, first thing I noticed was the new leggings are a lot easier to get up than the older ombre. With that being said, I do feel like the previous launch had 
bit more compression than this one. I feel like this is more of a moderate, almost wants to be a higher compression, but more on the moderate side. The previous launch felt super high compression, so keep that in mind. I also noticed when working out in these leggings, I felt like a slight slip, gradual like a gradual slip. I felt as I was squatting and moving around and especially when I went on the elliptical and I was really moving my legs up and down, I kind of felt like there was a little bit of a slippiness to it. On that elliptical, I was noticing a little bit of that cellulite showing through on these. Again, it's more of a moderate type of compression, but no shame in that game and no dreaded CT whatsoever. Everything's looking pretty smooth. There's just not a ton of glute space I'm noticing on the new ombre which is crazy because when you put them side by side, they technically have the same measurements in glute space. I just think it's the change of material, which we'll get into in just a second. That's making these new ombres a little less stretchy around this area. And it just kind of seems like it shrinks up my glutes a bit. I kind of feel like I'm getting a bit of a uni butt because I can't really pull up the material and let it stay. It's not going in between the cheeks, if that makes sense. I know that makes sense. The previous launch, really just stretched up around my glutes. It felt like the material really tucked up in them. You could definitely do like that trick where you shove the material up and it makes your glutes look real perky and peachy. These new ombres, I'm not feeling like I can do that with, with this material. It's not a question of sizing because I would still say that these are pretty true to size, you know? Like I wouldn't want to size down because then I feel like I'd have even more trouble around this department. But I wouldn't size up either because the waistband is perfect. So yeah, I would definitely stick to your true size when it comes to the leggings. My first impression when touching the new ombre, you can definitely feel more of that knitted fabric. So a little more textured, slightly on the rougher side, but definitely not uncomfortable. It's a, definitely still a stretchy legging. Remember, this previous launch had polyamide in it, which if you've been watching my channel, I love polyamide. That is what the Adapt Animal, the Camo, they got that material. Just makes it real soft and smooth and mm. But this one doesn't have that. This is more of a polyester and nylon base. So it's really good for wicking and breathability purposes, but it doesn't have that extra softness to it. Definitely less compression in the waistband here. So if you're looking for some insane tummy control, opt for the older ombre, not this new one. This one has a little more let up. But do not get it twisted. I still think these are a really great pair of leggings, especially if you're looking for that beautiful ombre design, but not as compressive as these babies. All right, because not everybody wants that intense compression. So let's talk the sports bra because there's a difference here too. <laughs> so same with the leggings. This sports bra is more on the moderate support side rather than the high support like the previous launch. I feel like there's a lot less compression and digging all around to the point where I feel like if you're in between sizes, you could almost size down in this sports bra. You still have removable bra pads, but the biggest difference that I'm seeing is the actual cut right around here by the armpits. So the previous launch had more of a dig in here. I had a little bit more of a bra bulge plus the compression. This one is cut a little bit more angular, so it's allowing more of this area by your pits, some space. So I'm seeing less of a bra bulge and overall, I think it's a bit more flattering. Still a very simple racer back. This is all the support I really need. So I'm good with this sports bra. I feel like this was more of an improved style from the previous collection. That's just me. So same deal as their last launch. You got the same length in biker style. Again, I would say the biggest difference is just the compression isn't squeezing around my thighs as much. I actually prefer that, but I'm not sure if I prefer it over the whole glute squeezing right here. Again, this is a prime example where you can see the band like touches my bum crack. It's just sitting lower than the previous. So I would just say my biggest critique on this new launch is just right around here. I think it shrinks my glutes a bit, gives me a little bit of a uni butt slightly. Overall, no difference in sizing with the shorts and leggings. Same thing, just shorter biker style shorts. And lastly, let's talk the long sleeve. So I think they've come a long way with this one. I was never a huge fan of the ombre long sleeve crop tops. Because they were so compressive, like the leggings and the bra, I just felt like I don't want that compression with a long sleeve crop, you know what I'm saying? Like if I'm warming up or doing whatever, I just don't like any type of restriction. So I feel like this one's a lot more functional in that department where I'm able to just 
move around a little bit better, be a little bit more comfortable in myself. So I think that's a definite improvement. I am wearing the pink bra underneath so you can get a clear view of what it looks like when you're actually in motion, how it doesn't really do any riding up or anything. So if you're in full-fledged motion, you're good. You're safe, you're secure. There's still a good moderate compression to keep things intact and not move all over the place but not where it's restricting you. I think this is a nice happy medium. I came up with some nicknames to help you remember what color is what, because green is just not easy enough to remember. So we got Moss Boss, okay, you're looking like a mossy rock, really, really hydrated. A lava Girl, okay, enough said. Starry Night, you wanna look like the Celestial on a beautiful, clear sky night. <laughs> and another sky one, Cotton Candy Skies, because all right guys, it's that time. You already know what time it is. It's my final thoughts. So what are we thinking of the new version of the Adapt Ombre? Here's the pros for me. The pros are I really, really love the aesthetic. The knitted design is awesome. It's different, super unique, and I just feel like it really does help prevent that streaky look that sometimes can happen with the dip dye. I also really love the fit of the biker shorts, man. There's no pinching, no digging, not even a little bit. Same with the long sleeves. I think they're a little bit more comfortable, and I just think overall it's just easier to get on as a set, so that's a definite plus. A few cons for me that I feel like could use a little bit of tweaking, I would have liked to see a little more glute space on the leggings. I just feel like they looked a little smushed. And the sliding when exercising got a little bit annoying. Nothing crazy, it's not like it's falling down, but it was just enough where I felt like I had to keep tugging in between sets. But yeah, guys, overall, I really do like these pieces. I always feel like the best way for you to know if it's for you is just to give it a try. You might love it, you might return it, who knows, but at least you tried it. Again, these are all just my own opinions and how everything fits me and my body type. So always keep that in mind. Just because it fits me one way, it might fit somebody completely different. All right, it's time to pull in the reins and load up that sleigh because it's time for some sharpness, baby. Are you guys ready for the biggest sharpness giveaway of 2021? Four winners will be receiving one $100 in your country's currency Gymshark gift card. You buy whatever you want, it's yours, $100 each, four winners. And one grand prize winner will be receiving a brand new Gymshark wardrobe. That's 15 Gymshark pieces of your choice. Any 15 items off the Gymshark website. That's a whole Gymshark wardrobe. That's just enough to take you right through 2022 and do it right. Am I right? <laughs> Four winners will receive a $100 Gymshark gift card and one grand prize winner will be receiving a new Gymshark wardrobe of 15 items. Keeping it really easy and consistent for you guys, all you have to do to enter is give this video a like, Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're not already. Subscribe to Gymshark's YouTube channel. And comment down below your favorite holiday memory. Christmas is literally like three days away. I don't know if you noticed that, but it's right around the corner. And it's got me really nostalgic. I'm thinking about all the really good memories I had with my family, when I was a little kid, when the magic was there. <laughs> Before the real world really punched me in the face. For me, it is most definitely when I was young, every single year, when I believed in Santa, I mean, I still believe in Santa, but my family and I would cram into our car on the way to church on Christmas Eve. Right before we leave, we all cram into our car, and right as we're about to pull out of the driveway, my dad would say, hold on, I have to go to the bathroom. Number two, with our family, when my dad goes number two, it takes a while. So it wasn't weird when we were sitting there an hour later, still chilling in the car, waiting to go to Christmas Eve mass. An hour later goes by, we go to church, I remember on the way home, my dad would always say, look, it's Santa on his sleigh, look. You see him twinkling up there and it would just be a star. Or a, or a plane or some something floating around in the air, but nevertheless, I would really believe that it was Santa on his sleigh and I would just be like dying. So I would get home to a really nice, beautiful display of gifts thinking, wow, Santa did it again, man. He knew when I went to church to come and deliver those presents so I wouldn't see him. Years later, I found out that it was my dad taking his number two. He would run in and bring all the presents down from wherever and uh, hey, you gotta do what you gotta do to keep these kids believing, I guess. So that's my best memory, I love it. All the guidelines will be down below in the description box for you just to keep it really easy and concise. 
but it's gonna be the same. So it's basically open internationally. You don't have to worry about your handle. I will write to your comment if you win. This giveaway is closing on Christmas day at 10.30 a.m. I will be announcing the winners in Instagram stories as well. So all YouTube and Instagram giveaway winners will be announced on Instagram, but do not forget we have TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, like all three platforms we're doing Shark Miss on, so don't miss out. And of course, the bonus entry comment on somebody else's comment. Spread that holiday joy. Thank you again to Gymshark for sponsoring and providing all of the Shark Miss giveaway prizes. Thank you all so much for watching and participating in Shark Miss. It is because of you guys, your love and support, that we are even having Shark Miss. This is the second year. Woo woo. Hopefully many more to come, but thank you all so much for this beautiful year of love and support. I am super grateful for each and every one of you. Because this is my last upload until Christmas, I wish you all a very Merry Christmas. Enjoy, have the best holiday with you, your loved ones. I love you all so much, and I will catch you in my next video. No well, no well. <laughs> I should grab my guitar. No well. So I know you guys probably be bleh. Yo, the lighting looks fucking dope. No hell. <laughs> no hell. Got the same length in bike. So let's go ahead and talk about this fitting of the legging. <sighs> hmm. Where do I begin? Oh. Mm, I don't know where to begin.